All right, hello once again, Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College. We've been going over this St. Louis Blues line website that I've been creating, and I ended up retyping everything in to my header. All right, so it's all been retyped. And I found one thing that was wrong is I had current here, and it should have said active, so that was wrong. All right, and if you take a look at it now, you're going to notice a few interesting things. First, there the highlighting works. The page that's the active page is bolded, so now that's bolded. Now that's bolded. All right. And also with the other stuff we've done, it's starting to look a little bit better laid out on the page. All right. It's not perfect yet. There's still a ways to go, but it's getting there. I'm looking at this. The only thing I don't like on here is it should have a little bit more padding here than it does. So let's, our header, we've got padding left and padding right. That's the button. Border bottom, we've got padding top. Let's, let's if I put in padding bottom of, let's try 20 pixels there, which may be too much, but let's see what that does. Okay, that's a little better. That's more than we need. So let's cut that down to 10 pixels. That's better. All right. Did we have that on the other one? Yeah, we've got a little bit there too. So it's, it's, it's getting there. Not perfect, but it sure is getting there. All right. Okay. <clears throat> The next thing that was in here then, when we take a look at what's here, so we've now gone in and we have added all of our header stuff. That pretty much is done and it should be the same on each page. Again, we should notice that even if we change pages here, this should look the same other than the one that's highlighted. But there is home, there is about, and there is contact. So that's good. All right. So the next thing is our showcase. And you can see that's what's in this section. We've got div container. Well, we're already handling that because we've already done that. So it's time for the showcase. And again, some of the stuff that I put in here, hopefully at least, will make a little bit more sense when, as we go on. So if some of the stuff right now you're like, why'd you do this? Why'd you do this? If you bear with me, hopefully it'll be more evident as we get going. So, showcase. You don't have to put in comments like this, but it sure makes it nicer for someone. You know, here's all my header stuff. Oops, I lost that, I guess, when I brought that over. So there's all my header stuff, and I know when it starts and ends, and there's my showcase stuff. So if I want to add something more to it later, I know really probably where it should go. So the showcase, we again want a minimum height here, and that'll be 250 pixels. How did I get that? By playing around. A background color of that pound 0, 0, 5, 2, 9C. I want to align the text to the left, and I want the text color to be pound FDB930. Again, those can be upper or lower case, it doesn't matter. Let's save. Okay, this is our showcase. Let's see how it changes. And you can see the showcase area has changed color-wise here, and here, and here. All right, it's looking more and more like it's supposed to look. Well, we've got an image there, okay? And I don't want that image to be where it is. I want it to be over there. And if you said, sounds like you want to float to the right, that sounds good to me as a start. So in my showcase, 
anytime I have an image tag, I'm telling it I want it to float right. Now I can just do that and it's going to do some of what I wanted. Okay, you can see it's moved over. That's good. But I don't like the way this looks. It's not placed very well on there, so I'm going to put a little bit of padding in there. Ah, let's you we'll use margin. So I'll have some margin on the top and we'll put in about 20 pixels and we'll have some margin right to push it over of 75 pixels. And what did that do? All right, looking a lot better as far as where we want it to be. Now again, that's not perfect. I kind of eyeballed it. You may or may not agree with what I did, but you could always go in and change it yourselves. Okay, so that was the image. We've got our H1 tag. We want that to have some margin on the top, 20 pixels. We'll give it a bigger font size than it would have normally. We'll make it 55 pixels. And again, the way I found all this stuff out was by playing with it. That's it. I'll put some margin bottom here too of 10 pixels. So again, with much of this stuff, it literally, really and truly was eyeballing, trying a few things. So let's refresh. That's a lot bigger, starting to look better. This is starting to look like that. Okay, it's getting there. Oops. Jeez. All right, so we've got our showcase for our H1. Now what do we need? Well, now we need the showcase for basically for our ULLI and for our paragraph. Okay. And I wanted to make sure the font size on both those was 20 pixels. Again, switching back, watch how this changes. Didn't, whoops, on this one. Let's refresh, and you can see it got bigger. All right, that's it. This is done now. This part of it is done, okay? So what's left to do is next is this newsletter thing. So we're done. So again, if I want to, I can put in here and header. And showcase. And this will be the newsletter. Now, there's, you know, different people have different perspectives as far as should I write a single page, then do my CSS, then do another page, then a CSS, or should I write all three of my pages and then do the CSS for each page? There is no right answer. Some people will put their CSS in line, so they'll put it at the top and they'll be adding their CSS as they create their page and then when they get done they'll pull it out and put it into an external file. There is no right or wrong way to do this. So let's do the newsletter. We want some padding all the way around, 15 pixels. We want the color to be white, the text color. And we want the background color to be that uh, pound FFB81C. Again, the best way to, to show that is to bring it up. There it is. Okay. I don't know if these, are, these two are the same color or not. That actually looks a little more orange than this, but you're getting the idea, hopefully. All right. So this is starting to look more like that. Whoops. Something I 
was looking at. So, all right. So there's our newsletter global stuff. How about our newsletter H1 tag? Well, we want that to float to the left. And we want the color on that to be pound 00529C. What did that do? Okay. This is still a work in progress, remember. We want the form that's in the newsletter We want that to float to the right, and we want the color. Whoop, we want the color on that We want the color on that to be oh, I'm going in the wrong one. What? Float right. <clears throat> and we want a margin top of 15 pixels. Okay. Now that's pushed over. This is wrong, so we'll have to fix that, but I'll, I'll worry about that in just a minute. Okay. You can see, though, it's getting, it's looking, you know, as we're working our way down, it's looking better and better. All right, so after our form, Now we're saying for any time we have a text box whose type is email, let's give it some padding of 4 pixels, a height of 25 pixels, and a width of 250 pixels. Okay, so let's see what that did. That's all good. I don't know why I floated that to the left, to be honest with you. I'm trying to figure that one out. Because it's supposed, oh, I guess it is over there. Okay, all right, okay. So this, now looks pretty much like this. And if you say, well, the font size looks a little different, it's because I've got this blown up a little bit on this page. If I knocked it down like that or so, it would, I guess, one of more up. Then they're virtually identical now. Okay? All right. So, what's, what's next? Again, I can come down and say and newsletter and I don't remember what came next. I think it was video, but we'll find out. Videos and I put a class of box in there. I don't know why, but that's fine. Probably should have really called it video, but hey, it's fine the way it is. So this will be videos. Videos or video? Videos, okay. And I want, I want that to be centered, so margin zero auto with a background color of uh, pound 00529C. You're going to see some marked changes when we do this. Watch how that looks. He didn't see anything. That probably would help. 
And let's put background color because I'm trying to be consistent with the way that I'm writing this. Whoops. Okay. Well, it's, again, it's getting there. Not quite there yet, but it's getting there. See my background color? Okay. So like I said, it's getting there. All right. So inside of videos, I had... The box, class, and that had a pat. We'll have a padding of 10 pixels all the way around, a margin left of 35 pixels, a margin right of 35 pixels and a display inline, this is the key one, block, which says put those two iframes basically on the same line. There we go. All right, this is looking very good. It's looking very similar, this to this. Okay, all right, we're not there yet, but we're getting there. I did some stuff here with the images, and I think I, it, uh, while I did this, I put stuff in and took it out, and put it in and took it out. So I don't think what I've got here. Okay, I don't think I need some of the some of the code that I put in. You should always be refactoring. So if you put some code in and then discover later you don't need it, all right, you should get rid of it. <clears throat> I believe that that's it for the videos. All right, so what's next? Was my form that's not on the first page, but we'll need it. And I gave that a, an ID of sign up. And I want all of my labels, so this will only be showing on the last one, to display inline block. I want them to have a width of 250 pixels, a font size of 24 pixels, some bottom padding of 10 pixels. I wanted my text to be aligned to the right, and I wanted the text to be bolded. Okay, that's quite a few changes, but let's take a look and see what it did. Okay, this is looking much better than it did before. Doesn't have my width, it does not look correct. This should have been a lot wider. Did I make it 25 instead of 250? No, nope. width 250 pixels. Oh, those are my labels. I'm sorry, not my text boxes. So my labels are looking a lot better. And you'll notice that my text is also that kind of different color there. All right. Right now, you can't see my buttons. We're going to do that in just a minute, so don't worry about it. All right, so there's my label. I want my text boxes. To have a width of 550 pixels. And again, how did I figure that out? by eyeballing it. Watch how these extend. Okay, This one I'm going to extend next so it looks pretty much like the rest of them. And again, as I mentioned, by no means, by no means am I saying that what I'm doing here is perfect. In fact, I would say that what I'm doing here is imperfect.
All right. If I want to later, I could put articles and some other stuff in there. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, and I'm looking in here. Text. I think what I want to do next is the sign up, but I want it for state I gave an ID to. And I'll give that a height of 30 pixels, a width of 550 pixels, a color of that, and a font weight of bold. font size of 20 pixels. All right, let's see what that did. It's all going to be the stuff that's right here on the state. Okay. So that's looking pretty good. I think the only thing that I have left here are my buttons. So I'm thinking that the about page pretty much done. Doesn't look great. Didn't look great on here either. All right, but it's pretty much looking the same. The home page oh, There we go. Pretty much looks like my home page. I notice, whoops, I notice that I've got uh, some padding in here that I didn't have, and I don't remember how I even did that. And now I lost the other one. Doggone it. index, my about, my contact, my styles. Again, what's left? Well, I need my submit button and also my reset button. You've got your choice. You, I could have come in here and I guess I could have used the IDs, but just to show you that there's different ways of doing the same thing here. We'll give these a width of 100 pixels, a height of 25 pixels, and a margin left of 400 pixels. Now that's going to look a little funky for a minute, so just bear with me. And what do they look like on the master here? The buttons had their gray color. Okay. So let's go back on here because right now they don't they don't show. I could reverse image them. Okay. So in other words, I could, and there's nothing wrong with doing this. Let's see how what this looks like. All 
right, so we've changed the background color, but the funny thing is it only changed on one of them. Oh, because I didn't put reset there. Okay, and now we have to say the font color. Now we want that blue. And I, let's see. I think that's this color here. So again, I did a little bit of reverse imaging there on the buttons. All right. Well, now notice that that's pushed over. That does not look right the way that it is. And there's way different ways that you can set this up. But the way that I did it was I just came in after this. And I said for my reset button, um, I put a margin left of minus 10 pixels. Basically, they're pushed together now. So, this is the redone site. Here is the home page. Oh, we didn't do the footer yet, so we'll do that in a minute. There is the about page, and there is the contact page. It's all looking pretty good. It's not perfect, but we do have to do the footer yet. And this is interesting. Because I believe we want the same coloring as that what we have in the header. So I probably could have just combined that. But let's go back up to my header. Where we had, the, had all this. background and we'll just do all this trust me so this will end the form and this will be the footer all right so change that to footer I want the background color and I want this color and hopefully that's it. Okay. Well, that's looking better, but it's not perfect. I need a text align center, and I also need to bold it. page, there's my about page, there's my contact page. Now this isn't perfect. It doesn't look quite as nice as what it looks like on here. I do believe that if I increased my sizes a little it would look better. I don't think I left anything off, but I could have. I could have left a padding or a whatever off, but the idea behind this was to fairly quickly in a, in a series of videos show you how to build a website from scratch, which is what I did. All right. So when I come back, I'm going to make just probably one or two videos where what I'd like to do, what I'd like to do is right now, if I click submit, there's nothing that's happening here. In fact, it is getting submitted with nothing in any of the fields. So I'd like to come back and put some code in there. And maybe we'll do it twice. Maybe I'll do it once with JavaScript and once with jQuery. All right, we'll see as we get going. But I want to I come in there and I want to put in some um, form validation. So that's what I'll be getting to next. The idea is let's... I'll either do it as one video or two. If I do it as one, I'll just use jQuery or JavaScript. If I do it as two, I'll use both. Then I'd like to come back 
and show you how to bootstrap this. All right, so that's what we're moving toward.